Hello and welcome to the Philippines. This is De Asan Water Village we're headed into. And it is uh, about 30 minute ride outside of Surigao, uh, which is a city in northeast Mindanao. Uh, my friend negotiated a price with this tricycle driver and I believe we paid uh, about 200 pesos, about uh, four dollars US for this trip for him to bring us out here, wait for us while we went and looked around, and then take us back to Surigao. Uh, these little tricycles don't have much in the way of shock absorbers. Uh, fortunately, the road was pretty good most of the way out there. In fact, exceptionally good, uh, the highway going out there. And uh, so it wasn't a, a rough ride at all. A uh, little bit hilly, we're going up and down, up and down, the, the hills going out here. Now if you live on the sea, like these people do, this water village, you're going to experience high tides and low tides. And they tell us that usually the water only comes up to a certain level and they don't get flooded. But I have a strong suspicion that there's occasionally storm surges or exceptionally high tides where their houses do get a little wetter. So uh, didn't go inside any of the houses, the areas. The, they were very friendly people. Everybody we met, uh, they probably would have showed us around if we would have asked, but we didn't. Sign down here says uh, something. Basically, it says no motorbikes allowed across this walk bridge. That's why all they're all parked out here. Hello. And this is, what does this say? What does this sign say? What does it say in English? <laughs> what is English? Okay, the single motor cannot, uh, not allowed. A single motor is not allowed? Mm. Yeah. So you have to more than have more than one motor? No, like uh, not motorbike not allowed. Oh, motorbike not allowed. Okay. Well, I think it would sink in the river anyway. It will be interesting to get some additional information about the history of places like this, as well as the technical issues involved in uh, driving those driving those poles down into the bedrock and setting up building your house. Seems very peaceful out here, very relaxing. A lot of people involved in fishing, I'm sure. Hello. Hello. Living in paradise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Found a karaoke. Let's go. I hear karaoke. Hello. Yeah. Mangrove. Thank you. 
Are these uh, fish ponds? Hello. Very big net. They catch something in that big, big net. It's a resort. Where? Over there? So is it okay? To... Yeah. yeah. Just get wet. Hello. You coming? <laughs> Does the water get any higher? So must now it's getting low tide. Oh, another. The high tide will be another, up, another. Higher. Okay, so right up to this top here almost. Does it get wet inside sometimes? Don't push her off. Let her go first. We'll take the raft. The raft. Full of look up. Instead before, instead of PE foam, now they are using the plastic already to float. Oh wow. Nets full of plastic bottles to float. It could be a little tricky, a little dangerous, a little risky trying to traverse this in the dark evening hours, especially if you've been out partying a little bit. There is a resort back in here called uh, Grove Garden Farm and Resort, and they've got uh, little cabins to rent out, rooms, and uh, as well as uh, day use charges as well. So, uh, nice relaxing area. And we weren't bothered by mosquitoes either. Grove Garden Farm and Resort. It was nice and peaceful until the karaoke uh, interrupted and uh, blared across the vast expanse of the world. Uh, it seems to go everywhere. Karaoke is fine, but uh, too many of these people don't have the common courtesy to understand that uh, not everybody wants to listen to that. Some people work nights, they try to sleep during the day. Uh, they are busy doing other things, they don't want to listen to that noise. And uh, they, people just don't understand that. Now even in Cebu City, they're gonna start enforcing noise ordinances, especially uh, the, the karaoke bars. Oh. <laughs> and especially after 10 p.m. Part of the problem with the 10 p.m. thing is that many people work at night People are trying to sleep during the day. And uh, 
a lot of people just don't want to complain. Part of the culture here, uh, saving face, not, not uh, having confrontation. Anyway, here's a look at uh, a little bit of the Dayasan Water Village. I understand that you can rent a paddle board or come in by, by boat and visit the area. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe. Safe travels to you all wherever you're at, and we'll see you next time. I've got other videos from this area coming soon.